We're at Mount Washington at a BC Cup, Stevie Smith Memorial, and it's a bit of a wet day. around at some of the conditions today and, and it, it couldn't be any worse really you know it was coming down in, in buckets early on and guys are still smiling you know they're still smiling still loving it still enjoying it no matter what so that's pretty cool to see You all right, bro? Oh, yeah. I was doing interviews and doing some reporting at Heckler's Rock when I said, hey, how many riders are left? And they're like, five riders are left. And I'm like, what? I got to go. And I ripped to the bottom of the course, and my shirt was already ripped to my body. And I ripped down to the bottom of the course just in time for Stevie to cross the line with the win. And I had no shirt on, so I had to run out there and interview him with no shirt on. And he had hit a tree and stopped and then continued his run and couldn't even believe that he won. So he was so stoked. And I was told that I made it there in time to get the interview and uh, I was shirtless, looked like a homeless person <laughs> in the finish corral and we had a good laugh and uh, it was a good moment for both of us. So uh, I would say those are my favorite Stevie Smith moments that I've, I've ever had the experience of, of sharing with him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty special just to, to remember him and remember all the, uh, all the fun times we had. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a good friend to a lot of the guys and a good role model, and he, he just never never let his ego get bigger than he was. And he knew that, you know, everyone that helped him along the way, you know, he was there to help the next generation come along the way. And I think Tiana really identifies with that part of his character deeply, and, and that's why she continues to, to help out with these events and, and to try and help the next generation and, you know, share the experience and share the love of the sport.
Your mom said she'd see me later now.